Welcome to your daily vinyasa hatha asana healing mind strengthening body awakening yin yoga practice. Throughout this ritual of love and movement, I'll be using big words like chaturanga dandasana, which is meaningless unless you speak Sanskrit, which almost no one does. But I want to brandish my knowledge of this dead language throughout this routine to separate me from my ego. Allow these foreign words to confuse you into a state of relaxation and focus. We'll start in Tadasana, mountain pose. Just fucking stand there. Shoulders back, chin up, be a mountain, be rocky, pointed at the top and sometimes covered in snow. Reach up and over your head like a mountain and make large circles with your hands. Inhale when raising the arms and exhale when lowering. This helps focus your chi on your peaceful frequency of presence. Really feel that awakening prana flowing through your balls. And finally, arms over your head. Dive down slowly with your heart energy into your standing forward fold. It's important to fold at the hips. If you can't go all the way down, it's okay. You just fucking suck. Come back up while bending from the waist, bringing all of your energy towards the sky. And dive down again to Father Earth. I mean Mother. Mother Earth. There's no Father Earth. <laughs> uh, walk your hands forward to your plank position, pushing the earth away and actively tucking the belly in. Release into Chaturanga Dandasana, or almost do a push-up. Then press your torso up into Upward Facing Dog, shoulders back, ass flexed. Then press back into Downward Facing Dog. I remind you to bend at the waist, do not bend your spine, bend the knees if necessary. You might want to bend one knee at a time to fall into this position, or not, whatever, I don't fucking care. Now breathe into your left leg while lifting it up to the sky, then let it hang over, stacking the hips. Hold here for just a moment, lift the other heel for a little extra stretch, and bring the left leg down and forward and step between the hands. With your front leg at a 90 degree angle, swing your arms up over your head, pushing upward. Arms straight, hips forward, legs active for high lunge. Now straighten the left knee, twist to the left, and bring your left arm back and down and around for our open flower camel rock move thing. Just look at the video. Do this a few times to welcome healing chi energy into your chakras and fill your ashanganasana with the frequency of pleasure. If this statement seems like nonsense, it's okay. It's okay. Now slowly and with control, lower your torso forward, lift the right leg up and put your right hand down for revolved half moon. It's called this because we're round like a moon. Hmm. Lift your hand off the ground and slowly twist your spine around to the right for regular half moon. Use your left hand for stability, or to take it a step further, lift that hand off the ground, balancing entirely on the left leg. If you can't lift your hand, it's totally okay. You're probably better off drinking on the couch. Slowly lift yourself back to upright. Swing your right foot forward, then out to the side, placing it on the inside of your left thigh. Open the hip for tree pose. If you can't balance on one leg, that's perfectly not okay. Be better. Slowly move your arms up and reach to the sky, then back down, just like a tree. Continue balancing on that left leg and bring your right leg straight out in front. While keeping both legs straight and the right leg off the ground, swing that right leg down and back into warrior three position. We're going to do this a couple times while breathing into the taint, so we can welcome healing energy into the love center of our own peaceful internal awareness. On the last round, bring your arms forward and point them in front of you, like an airplane. Vroom, herm, I'm an airplane. And hold. Now move that right leg forward yet again, fucking up on the way like this idiot in the video. Then grab your right foot with your right hand and extend that leg as high as you can. This pose is wonderful for connecting with the universe, source, your higher self, but not God. Religion is uncool, so vague words like spirituality and source are what we prefer in the yoga community. And chingadadasana here, which looks like an accident, but is like totally not an accident. This is all on purpose.
Yep, even that. Now grab your right leg behind you with your right hand and point your left hand forward for whatever the hell this is called. Just listen to your body. Now let both arms and legs down into our runner's lunge position. Try to stand on your toes on both feet and reach your arms up behind you while breathing into the tits. Try to balance here. Now make a big swing forward with both arms back into our high lunge. Feel free to stay still here or wiggle around like this dingus. Let's bring our hands into prayer position and twist to the left, connecting your right elbow to your left knee. You can stay here if you're a pussy or take a bind. Reach your left hand behind you and between your legs to grab your right hand, right over your center, your privates. Hold here and surround yourself with a radiant light of positive energy and peace. Focus on the privates. Release the bind, bringing the hands back into prayer, not that we're praying, and use your core to swing back around to the right. Find your center here, again your privates. Then slowly stretch both arms out for warrior two. This pose helps to rid your body of toxins, cures diabetes, headaches, and you won't get cancer. Turn to the left hand up and reach it back over your head into peaceful warrior. Then reverse it and lean forward, reaching your right hand over your head and balancing on the left knee with the left elbow. You can stay here, like a bitch, or take a similar bind on the opposite side. Reach the right hand around your back to meet your left hand between your legs, right over your ass. Hold the spine to welcome positive healing energy into your heart. Then take it one step further, unless you're a bitch, by straightening out the left leg, coming into our reverse twisted triangle swan duck bird thing. Hmm. Now release your arms, slowly moving them back into prayer. Now let's give that leg a break by stretching it some more. Put the left calf flat on the ground in front of you and your right leg straight out behind you for pigeon pose. Lift your torso up with your arms, stretching the lower back and flexing the ass. And lower yourself down again, exactly like a pigeon. We'll do this a couple times. Releasing gas helps connect with our higher selves. If you shit your pants a little, that's okay. Now let's step back into our familiar Kumbhakasana, or plank. Now chaturanga, Kumbhakasana, back and forth several times. This is also known as fucking the earth, or push-ups. Notice this man's penis. Now push the earth as far away as you can as if resisting an inadequate lover. Now lower down once more, then reach your heart chakra towards the sky chakra, back into upward facing dog. Hold here for a second, lots of energy into the penis. Then ass up, back into down dog. Relax into your down dog, pushing your chest towards your legs and breathing into the butt. We'll now reverse and do the other side. Lift the right leg up and back, then let it hang over to the left, stacking the hips. There's a butt crack. <laughs> now lift the right leg to the sky, then swing it forward between the hands. Use it to lift yourself up into your high lunge, knee strong, arm straight up, left foot flexed and butthole clenched. Just like on the other side, we'll straighten the front knee, twist to the right, and move the right arm down and around for our open flower camel rock move. This motion helps us keep everything balanced, just like in nature. Go out into nature and look around, all is balanced. Nothing even happens because of the balance. On our last round, we'll pause when the right arm is down and the left arm is up, creating a beautiful line, connecting ourselves to the up or spirit and the down spirit. From here, we'll shift our weight forward onto the front foot and again find ourselves round and circular like the moon. Uh, a perfect circle representing healing and peace. We'll now twist our entire torso 180 degrees using our right hand for balance now. Or once again, if you want to be fucking cool, you can lift that hand balancing only on the right leg. This asana is especially good for the armpit chakra and it also helps the ball bag and toenail chakras. Chakras are totally a real thing, and so is astrology. Yep, yep. Release now, down into your something pose. 
the fuck is this guy doing? Ay, puta madre. Right. Left leg out at 90 degrees and left foot on the right thigh for tree pose. Breathing into your knee. Slowly raise and lower the arms or just stay with the hands at heart. Or you can do the variation where you sit around and drink beer. Remember, this practice is yours. Do what your body wants you to do, even if it means committing heinous crimes. Now left leg out front as straight and high as you can, hands on your hips. Keep the leg straight and slowly swing it back, not touching the ground or maybe a little, whatever, for warrior three. Feel free to fuck up a little, it's yoga, no one cares. Hold here for a moment, welcoming positive energy. Then push the leg back out front, repeating a couple times to cultivate a sense of inner peace and harmony. Also, embrace the light within you. And also, compassion and self-love and stuff. Now as you swing the leg forward the last time, jump around on your right foot like an asshole, allowing this chaotic energy of love, joy, and kindness to radiate out into the world. Now lift the leg up as high as you can, really stretching out those tendons in the crotch. Move the leg to the side for a moment, welcoming positive energy into your taint. Then put the leg behind you again for this pose, airplane thing. Hold here while connecting through that bottom leg to the earth with compassionate love, vibrating positive energy, joy, awareness, light. Again, fuck up if you want, doesn't matter. Finally, let's release those hands to the ground, and just as we did on the other side, try to balance on your toes while reaching the hands behind you to the sky. I call this Mantis Pose, named after my favorite doctor, Mantis Toboggan. Swing the arms down and forward 360 degrees, back into our familiar high lunge. Feel the wind flowing through your cracks. Putting our hands in prayer, again not praying, twist to the right and rest the left elbow on the right knee. Hold here if you're a bitch, or take it to the next level and reach the right hand behind you and through the legs to connect with the left, tickling your own genitals. Hold briefly, then release back into prayer. Lift your torso up and spin around 180 degrees, stretching the arms in opposite directions for warrior two. Imagine horses are tied to your arms and are ripping them out of the sockets with compassion. Twist the right hand up, reach over your head, and lean to your left for peaceful warrior. Now reverse that stretch by reaching the left arm over your head and resting the right elbow on the knee, then slowly and with control drop the right hand to the ground. There's that penis again. Now take a bind by reaching the left hand behind you and the right hand through your legs, connecting the two at the scrotum chakra. Now take it one step further by straightening the right leg for awkward triangle triceratops bind pose. Hold here, filling your life force with some shit. Now release the bind, bringing your hands back into prayer for a second for some reason, then lay your right calf down horizontally in front of your tummy. Straighten the back leg and foot and release everything down. Press up, arching the back and head towards the sky. Repeat this movement while feeling the moon sun energy vibrate within your entire being and welcoming the positive vibrating frequency of pure nonsense into your crown chakra. Hmm. Now let's close that right leg, bend the left leg, and reach for it with your left hand, feeling that stretch all along your entire body. Tighten your asshole here. Now release and come back into that familiar plank position, penis pointed. Do the second half of a push-up, or chaturanga dandasana dasanasana, then reach up with your heart for upward facing dog, breathing into the lungs. Hold for a second, flexing that ass. Then point that ass to the sky and come back into your down dog or Adho Mukha Shavasana. It's good to have two words for the same thing to avoid ambiguity. Hold here and get ready for a handstand. Look ahead and jump forward, using bad form and never even coming close to being straight. 
bounce and wiggle as if you're about to fall, almost getting balanced but not quite, then actually fall, hopefully onto your feet, then awkwardly wiggle into your malasana, or squat. Again, having two words for this avoids confusion and distraction from your sacred practice. Keep your spine straight and bring your hands into prayer, but again, don't pray. At least don't call it that. Now fall back onto your butt, or ass, and lift your legs and arms, making them parallel to the earth for boat pose. Lower yourself down, supporting yourself only with the lower back for low boat. Pull yourself back into boat pose, using your body muscles. Then reach for the calves or ankles, depending on your proportions and ability to not suck, and pull your legs as close to your fucking face as you can. If this is hard at first, give up. up. Now release, placing your hands behind you and your feet apart to lift your pelvis upward, and use your glutes to make a straight line with your torso and thighs. This is called fucking the sky. Now drop your pelvis back down and between the arms for a lifted seated walrus mockingbird. Then back up to fornicate with the sky. Really give it to her. Swing down again, coming into our walrus thing. Hover, then sit in an almost normal seated position. Slowly circle your arms overhead into a big L thingy. Then dive down into your seated forward fold. Always bend with the hips, never the back. You can use your hands to pull yourself even further down and forward. If you can't come down this far, then maybe take up a drug addiction and have unprotected sex with street urchins or any other variation on this pose you prefer. Allow this compassionate energy of self-love and light to flow from Pachamama, which is a word. People say it. Release the fold and prepare for what many yogis call the most important pose of our practice, Shavasana. It's just lying the fuck down, but we need another word even for this. Surrender your physical body to the mat, but keep your non-physical body rigid and panicked. Try to relax every muscle in your body. Many of us carry tension in the neck, the jaw, the lower back, even the ankles and the vagina. It's considered the most important pose because we're not really doing anything, so... Don't think about that at all. In fact, stop thinking and just uh, lie there, I guess. No, oh, wait, there's more. Cross the right leg over the left and lie them down to the left while twisting your head to the right. This is called Jathara Parivartanasana. Try to remember that word. Now using your chi vibration, pull the legs up and reverse everything. Left leg over right, head to the left. Also, don't forget to breathe. In all yoga practices, it's important to keep breathing. Actually, probably should have said that sooner. If you've gone over 15 minutes without breathing, you're probably dead. Let's point both legs up overhead, knees straight, and slowly lower them down over your head for suck your own dangdasana. Hold for a moment, breathing in your own crotch smell, then slowly lift the legs straight up, supporting the hips with the hands. Try to touch the clouds with your toes. Lower the legs back down again, kneeing yourself in the eyes, then slowly and with control lower them back down, back into lie the fuck down dasana. Thank you for joining me today in our healing practice of pranic peaceful mobility regenerative word soup Ramalama Ding Dong. May universe be with you. Namaste. <laughs>